New York is the only place I've ever lived. I'm from here, born and raised. I don't feel like a stranger here. There's something really special about that. Hello! I'm Leandra Medine Cohen. Welcome to my home. I have lived in this apartment for about two years. These are all pictures from the previous 10 years of my life. It's my daughter Madeline's foot. I love baby feet. This is always what I look like when I'm in my room. My favorite thing to do in this room is to sit down at the low tables, put tablecloths, force everyone to take off their shoes. I really like to serve appetizers and natural wines. Cheers. It's a good night if they have to like somersault out. I like hand-painted ceramics a lot. I just found a unicorn eraser. I also love naked body parts, so there are a lot of naked body parts everywhere. They're butts. Another body. Now come into my kitchen. Come, come, come. This is definitely my favorite room in the house. This is where I spend the most time. Um, it gets the best light. Wow, what a view. I do everything in here. I journal. I like making stories with all the plates. Fish. The perfect cocktail. Olive juice and tequila with a splash of lemon. Gotta go. I didn't know what my interior's style was until I actually started putting this apartment together. I like really personality-driven accessories. And then I realized that it's really similar to my personal style. Maybe I would compare it to a bagel store. I am the bagel, and then I, I can do all sorts of things to it. Put some strawberry cream cheese on there, some olive cream cheese, and you know, depending on the day, you can change the bagel. Buffet dressing, that is what it is. You take a little bit of everything from all different places, One of the things I love most about New York is that it's, it's a town of transplants. I've always been inspired by the characters that are around me, even more than the setting. I find it so much more interesting to walk up and down Lexington Avenue or 2nd Avenue or Madison Avenue, just because I love to see the way um, that the people are dressed and the ways they're carrying themselves and where they're going and what they're talking about. There's just something so honest about witnessing a person being themselves. The people, it's really, really the people. And this is such an anonymous city, and so everyone has their privacy, or it seems that way at least.